The International Day Against Drug Abuse has come and gone, but as caregivers, female artists felt it was imperative for them to capture the moment with an exhibition in the nation's capital, Abuja. These are some of the members of the Female Artists Association of Nigeria. They are in the federal capital territory to hold another exhibition after the previous one which took place in Lagos. This time, the focus is on another issue, an initiative to achieve the goal of an international society free of drug abuse. Beyond being artists, they are mothers, sisters and caregivers who feel the need to add their voices to the clarion call against drug and substance abuse, which is supported each year by individuals, communities and various organisations all over the world. The female artists have been advocates for social eats, especially as it concerns women. Today we are concerned about what is happening in our society today, our children, the youths, our husbands and our daughters who have been so engaged in taking drugs. With the recent report that our children take codeine, we say today we are going to give out our own voice by condemning these drugs our children take. So with this my work now, I've used it now to depict such situation that no matter, it's still a, it's like a, a warning or a wake up which is in line with the theme of Red Alert which the Female Artists Association of Nigeria is uh, exhibiting in line with to address the issue of uh, drug abuse. And drug abuse now, in, in the international standard, let's, say now, let's take it to Nigeria. Um, Nigeria is facing the situation of um, illicit use of uh, drugs, like the issue of codeine now has become so rampant that uh, the federal government has actually, has actually put a ban on a certain drug which people have been using to indulge themselves to handle their situation. With their work of art, they draw attention to this global topic, which has sadly increased over the years. Some of them alluded to a death sentence, while others hit hard on those who encourage it. In this painting, uh, it's mixed media on canvas. Uh, I have been able to portray that when you take drugs, you're getting closer to your grave. So this is a mixed media work on canvas. The title of this work is um, Red Alert. This work basically, you know, and talking about the consequences of um, drug abuse. You know, life basically exposes us to uh, two complementary forces, good and bad. Now, depending on whatever habits or that you have, there's a consequence for it. Now, drug is meant to be used and not to be abused. When you abuse drug, you get the consequences. And so the motives you have, you know, littered around this body means the consequences, the negative consequences of drug abuse. And of course, it's an alert ticking. Anything can happen. And of course, it gets to your brain, you go back up or you pack up. So that is what Red Alert is talking about. Excessive use of drugs actually reduces somebody's lifespan and causes a lot of uh, damage to health to the body. So if you can in any way just know that whatever that situation you're in, do not indulge in drugs. 
there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. The statistics are staggering and those who have been fingered are the youths. So there is a need to give them a safe environment to express their views and ensure they aren't mixing up with the wrong crowd. The title of my work here is Ode to Hope. That's like a song to hope which depicts that no matter what condition you find yourself in, that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm using it to say no matter what condition anybody is, do not indulge in drugs, especially excessive use of drugs. Like today now, we are using today to mark the International Day Against Drug Abuse. So this ode to hope now, for like a lot of people, I've gotten to interact with some people who do drugs and I ask them, why do you do this kind of thing? They say they want to use it to ease themselves from what they are going through. Like if somebody is going through depression, a sad situation, all they need to do is just to smoke something or to take something that will get them high so that they can easily sleep off. These female artists intend to keep using their skills to bring about positive change in the society as they believe art should no longer be art for art's sake. For some time now, since 2016, I have taken interest in Nigerian highway codes and I have tried to find out the reason of a lot of car crashes because 90% of our transportation here in Nigeria is road. So, and um, I got to realize that it's as a result of faulty decisions by drivers. Now, there are a lot of things that make this driver have faulty decisions. Sometimes the lack of knowledge of the highway code, and sometimes it is the influence of drug abuse, and then sometimes it's also uh, probably bad roads and all that. So, but for this painting here, it's depicting um, a, a lady being hit down on a zebra crossing path because of the fa a faulty decision of a driver who was who is high on on drugs. So my painting is showing the aftermath of such a situation and painting this very ugly scene to say no, we shouldn't uh, uh, indulge in such acts because it could it costs life. Beyond that, they want to support girls who have an interest in creative arts to realize that they have a shoulder to lean on. The more the merrier. We all need to keep talking about the dangers of drugs and substance abuse for the sake of the future. Now let's show you why you want to stay glued to your TV sets for the next edition of the program. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. On the next episode of the program, it's a Generation Next series at the My Dream Gallery in Lagos. They tell us who's the next big thing to watch out for. This is just uh, another establishment, you know, of the fact that life is a continuum. You know, in the industry of art, you know, um, we expect, you know, uh, a rollover of uh, players in the industry from one generation to the other, from one period to the other. And this is expected to highlight um, the large residue of uh, potential masters that we have in the art industry. Then this artist has been inspired by the World Cup. So when the World Cup um, was gaining momentum, I, in fact, it was around December, I said, what can we do? What, what's indigenous to Africa? And I thought about the peso and the mortar that I normally see. And the god, you know, the, like the calabash you use for drinking palm wine. I said, okay, this is indigenous to Africa. So can we do something with it ar around the World Cup? So that's where the idea was birthed. We'll see that and more on the next edition of Art House. So we 
will see the Generation Next artist and how the World Cup has inspired an artist to create. But if you want to relieve this moment, it's not a problem. Just check out our YouTube page. And also remember that the conversation continues on any of our platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day.